<laughs> nice. Ooh. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Freedom Planet 2 Simple yeah. Version. Uh, this is a demo for Freedom Planet 2, the sequel to the original Freedom Planet game that I actually streamed this uh, the original a while ago and played as uh, as Lilac. I have yet to play as the other characters, so... um. Oh, okay, so A works. Thank you for downloading the sample version of Freedom Planet 2. This 1.0.6 update adds new abilities for each character, as well as expanded pause menu with guide and photo options added. Some of the characters' animations have not been polished, so there may be some technical issues during gameplay. We'll continue to work on these game prog as the game progresses. We hope you enjoy, and have a nice day. So... Oh, that is some jank controls. So up will be... So now that we're, I, I finally went and uh, changed the controls on this, uh, let's start the game. So we have a choice between Lilac, Carol the Wildcat, Mila the Hound, and Nirna the Frost Knight. Um, wow, I, I'm really digging their new designs. Lilac has a pretty sweet design, uh, Mila has a cool design. I'm going to play as Lilac, as I did in the previous game or when I did with the previous game when I streamed it, but if there's enough time, I'll go through each character. And we always play on normal. We never we never play on uh, easy. Wow, just look at this game. Okay, so it does... It, it does fix a few th issues that I had with the original game, but also, I, I guess they're older. I have... Ow. Wait, why am I... Why am I doing my special as the same move? Okay, so I found out the issue. Um, when you set the controls... I When I set the controls, I accidentally had... Um, two sets of controls set up for just one controller, which is like the weirdest thing. Anyways, uh, I'll just say it's a demo thing. So now everything's properly... Um, Everything's properly assigned. I mean, what I was saying is that look how nice this looks. And I, I love the new design for Lilac. Super awesome. I love the setting. I, I, I hate whenever I get hit like that. Uh, there we go. That's satisfying. That Cyclone ability is so satisfying to use. Like, when I was streaming it, I remember myself using it so much. Cyclone. If I remember correctly, I remember saying that this game wasn't that bad. There could have been a lot of things done to improve it. Um, it mostly had to do with just the health. I really wish you could upgrade your health as you went along in the game. Cyclone. I am loving this tree gimmick. Um, it reminds me of... Um, Oh, that is sick. Okay, cool. We're just getting crystals all the time. But it does remind me a lot of um, a flying battery. Oops. And that's the guard. I want to see if I can try to get the guard to work at... Wait. I see that health there. Oh, so, like, if... If you already have that health used up, you can just use it for, um... Oh, okay, so the guard does work really well. I'm pretty sure there was a guard in the previous game, it's just... I honestly could never find a reason to use it. Like, in an effective way. Alright. Oh, that is so cool! Access something to open. Uh, that's actually the up Cyclone. on the Xbox 360 controller. I don't know why it calls it access. It usually does that for like um, an analog stick. Checkpoint? Oh, it's a bonus. Oh, oh that's cool. <gasps> Wait, it zooms out? Awesome. Okay, one of the issues I actually did have with the original is that um, it seemed like you couldn't really see as far as what would be necessary. Ow, you suck. 
Uh, it just seemed like you were always like it would be easy to run into things. Even if you could fight, it just seemed like you running into things was just the norm with this game, or with the previous game. Sorry. So now, with that kind of a change, it makes it easier to see what's ahead of you. It makes you makes it easier for you to anticipate what enemies are going to come by, and it's honestly an improvement. Like even even games like to bring it to Sonic because that's kind of that's kind of where um, Freedom Planet's beginnings are is more of just a fan game that turned into an official game or to an original game uh, to bring it back to Sonic even Mania did that because it was like yeah this larger the um, the further you can see ahead of you, the more you can anticipate it. Even though you are going super fast, you can still anticipate what's going on and properly prepare for it. I mean, not all the time, but it's still doable. Which I think this is really cool. Although this is a this is a very long level. I remember that um, Freedom Planet had some very long levels in it. I believe this. I believe the audio just ended. There we go. Thanks. Thanks, game. Cyclone. So I'm just going to find my way to the end of the level as fast as I can. Cyclone. Which even then, I'm still having a really good time with it. It's fast. It's exhilarating. You, you're not getting... I mean, you're not getting BS'd over by enemies that you don't see coming all the time. And there's a boss. Okay, cool. Oh, boy. I am not going to win this one. Ow. Oh my gosh. Cyclone. Uh, come on. And... Oh, I'm just going to have to cheese this boss fight, don't I? Aren't I? I'm gonna have to cheese this one. Come on. Cyclone. Done. I was like, I'm gonna have to cheese the boss fight. <laughs> Cool, I like that. The music's really good. So now that we've played through as Lilac, I think we have enough time to play through other characters. So, um, I would love to go through as Car um as Carol and Mila, and you know what? I think that's what we'll do. We'll go through as each character just to get an idea. Hmm. Yeah, why not? We'll get an idea of what each character play as. I'm not going to go and take my time as I did with uh, Lilac. But it'd be nice to at least see what... To see what each character does. Now, Carol has a wall jump, uses her claws, and then also has this really cool yo-yo thing going on. You just throw an item and immediately transport to it. And it has this air dash. Kind of like what Lilac does, but instead of like the tornado thing that she had going... Um, what am I getting at? Oh yeah, um, that she can just climb onto a... Just use it to propel herself forward as opposed to just staying in the air longer. Which, that's fine. Because then I can just climb the wall like this. Although things like this will be a bit of a challenge. Because she's not going to be able to do that. But an attack like that would actually make navigation 
really fun. Ow. I said fun, not painful. Wait, did she climb on that? Oh, that's cool. Okay, the land right there. Uh, okay, that's bizarre, but you know what? I'm not going to question it. Oh, there's a secret here. Cool. There's, like, secret areas to get extra gems. Okay, I was like, oh, can I climb upwards and do that? And also, her block works exactly like how Lilacs does. I am loving the redesigns on the character, or the newer, the updated designs on the characters. There's just, there's just so much more to them. You can also curl into a, you can also roll into a ball as her. Okay, I haven't played as, um, I haven't played as Curl yet, so it's like, I, I'm not aware of half of these things. Oh, you have this little... Oh, you can, like, you can pounce right into it. That's actually... I like how seamless all of this is. Oh, what a jerk. I just do that. Okay. Not really working as I thought it would, but it still works in a way. There's all our health. I think what I like with all the characters, is, or with uh, Carol and with uh, Lilac as well, is the fact that not only do I have these controls that do real that work really well, is that I okay, good. Let's hit that. Okay, fine. Um, what I was getting at was that I can use their abilities and still continue forward motion. Like, I can attack and still continue going forward. I can just run for- I can just go into a ball and it'll still allow me to go forward because it also acts as an attack. At least that's what I'm getting from it. If it's not an attack, then man, am I going to really look silly. But you keep your forward momentum. So I'm really digging this. Yeah, see? Not only is it allowing you to continuously uh, to go forward, but it also acts as an attack because her whole body is being used as an attack. Well, I mean, the moment she lands, it becomes an attack, see? Well, I mean, except for that one and that one. And I'm now aware that she can throw that in all directions. I feel like an idiot. I do need to find more health, though. Uh, don't worry, I rolled as fast as you. Get over here! Hey, the music's about to end, but you know what? I think we're at the very end of the zone. Yeah, we are. Alright, let's fight this thing. I feel like that's going to help us out a lot more than I expected. Oops. Oh, dang it! Dang it, dang it. No, no, no. Okay. Man, is she overpowered. I know, I know. Holy crap, that was overpowered. <laughs> oh my god. That was cool. Oh, right. There we go. We're good.
That music is really nice. Two more characters to go. We're gonna play as Mila. It's funny. I actually never got a chance to play as her. Um, I think she's playable in the game, uh, in the previous game. I don't remember off the top of my head. I haven't touched Freedom Planet since I streamed it for like five hours. We'll see. Look at that. Oh my gosh. She levitates. Or she kind of like does a float, but it's like a limited time. Kind of reminds me of like Cream the Rabbit with her ears. Obviously not as strong. So that's a downside. I mean, her hits can't really... I need health already. Oh, it's a shield. That's kind of cool. You kind of make her different. <laughs> Wait. Oh, her block also become. Wait, that doesn't sound right. That's her special move. And that's her block, but her block becomes a special move. <laughs> I love that. That is adorable. But yeah, when you block, you get an. You get an ability. Like, when you block, you get a, this energy that you can use. I guess it's done in a way to make them all different. But still. Never thought that would be her kind of... Um, I'm sorry. That's just adorable. <laughs> but, um... Never thought that would be her ability. Oh, okay. There we go. This, with that bonus, we run as much as we can, we get a huge bonus like that. Wow, we went through that level very fast. Alright, we gotta go through the loop again. It's so weird how the guard is probably going to be one of the more used attacks for her. When it, the other ones are just like, use use your um, your special. But no, this is actually going to be the most effective attack. Where did that thing go? Okay. I was like, where did it go? Nope. We're gonna go as high as we possibly can. We can't go any higher. Oh well. I'm sorry, like, I, I know I'm not saying much, but I'm really having a good time with this. It's kind of like the Tails or Cream the Rabbit kind of, like, version of it. Or kind of reminds me a bit like Yoshi with the Flutter Kick. There we go. Okay, I can see how that would work. I mean, granted, I'm not the best... I'm not a very good player at this. I'm not a very good player at this, but you know what? I'm giving it my best. And this, I'm actually supposed to go here. But it does make a lot of this platforming, like, a non-issue. Sometimes it's just not even... Not even difficult. Although it does look really cool when you do it. So. I mean, there's not much I can say about this. Except for, she plays very well in this game. Like, the level is very well designed for, for the three characters i played as so far. We have one more character to go, but I want to see how she fares in a boss fight. So that's kind of where we're heading. That's kind of where we're heading. Take that. You're gonna actually try to hit me that way? Cheap. This is gonna be interesting. I don't know how I'm gonna approach this boss.
Get back here. I think I can... Okay, except for that. I guess attack from a distance is probably... I think that's like her biggest upside. I mean, look at this. Look how broken this is. Oh. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, this is the coolest way to fight. Okay, maybe not the most effective way. Okay, one more bar of health to go. Although this is going to be the this is the fastest iteration of the boss fight I've gone through. Ow. I think my favorite part is just the fact that when you shoot out your attack, you get pushed backwards. I think that's what I'm liking the most out of it. So, yeah, give seal of approval. Thumbs up. Mission complete. Also with that badass music, so yeah, good stuff. We have one more character to, character to go, and it's going to be Nira the Frost Knight. She might be a new character. I cannot remember the story for the life of me, so she might be new. Double jump, cryo staff, frost arts, guard. Let's see how this goes. No, wait. Okay, I love that. She turns the whole ground below her into ice. Oh, that is sick. Oh, it's a projectile. Okay, hang on. Oh, that is going to be overpowered, and I am going to enjoy it. What the heck? Okay, I want to see what her down special is. Oh, you get little icicles. Okay, so they all had like... I mean, Lilacs was obviously this was the dash. Um, Carol's was... Wait, did I ever even look at Carol's? Oh yeah, it was the boomerang thing, or the yo-yo boomerang kind of thing. The spinning disc. I'll call it. Something more dignified. I'll call it a spinning disc. And then for Mila was um, the shield. But it's funny because the shield was like... It just deflected moves, and it wasn't as useful as, like, her guard ability, which gave you a projectile to shoot. It wasn't a very long... It gave you, like, an attack to shoot. It wasn't very long, but it's, it did so much more than than the um, reflecting shield did. I think that's what I like, the fact... I, I said this already, but uh, allow me to sound like a broken record when I say... I like that this all doesn't take too much away from your forward momentum. This is pretty sick. Like, I'm loving this. And the dodge works the same for her as it does for Lilac, so... I love that down... That down stab attack. I think she has, like, the best possible attack out of any character. Who's like, anything above you? Take him out. Okay, let's try and do this. Come on, momentum. I know I'm not collecting as many things. I'm not going on different diversions, but this is just to show off the game. <laughs> Got smacked up in the air. That's a shame. That didn't work as well as I thought it would. Oh, well, we're getting health near the end anyway, so... I love the ice ability. I wonder if that... I wonder if that would actually ever turn into anything, or is it just, like, a cool aesthetic uh, choice? Because either way, I'm digging this.
I'm sorry, but I love that move so much. It's just like one of those moves that just shows how powerful a character can be. Oh. I've actually never seen you before. What do you do? You seem to be a shield. Okay, then. Hey, I'm fine with that. Ow. You do not deserve to live, so you take my special move and you suffer your fate. That is cool. Such a graceful animation. I know it said that there was work to be done, but even then, the animation is so far pretty top-notch stuff. S spin? How are you doing that on ice? Wait. Okay, that's just to give you extra health in case at some point you took extra damage. So let's do this! Oh, that's what's gonna help. Okay, so all I gotta do... Stay under you. Ooh, okay. So it is going to be easy to dispose of this guy, but... Uh, but I think Carol had like the easiest uh, time to go through this. Nope. I'm running in a... Nope! I am not dying this time. But I was going to say, I think uh, Carol had like the easiest... Carol and Mila had, like, the easiest way of going through this. Probably Mila, but only because she had a projectile. And, um, Carol was, like, the next one. She's probably gonna be the most difficult one to play as, so that's what I'm gonna say. Uh, that's my guess. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this demo. I know I've, I'm... I'm looking at my recording right now, and it looks like I'm just, I've been peaking audio level, so if I'm a little too close and I've been speaking too loud, I apologize. Um, anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think about Freedom Planet 2's simple version demo in the description down uh, in the comments down below. Not the description. Uh, the description is where you can go to find the Steam uh, page for this, because right now the demo is on Steam. Again, let me know what you think about the game in the comments section down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content that I produce, consider joining the Nux Club by subscribing to the channel. Click the bell icon to get notifications for new videos, posts in the community tab, and new live streams that come up, because you'll see them when they're live. At this time, I want to give a huge shout out to the Nux Club Plus members. You'll see their names on screen right now. If you want to consider joining the Nux Club Plus, you can find out how to do so with the YouTube gaming link down below. It's $5 a month, but it does go a long way to help out this content creator, and it helps out all content creators when you do stuff like that. Anyways, to all those who currently are sponsoring or who have joined the Nux Club Plus, thank you very much. Your extra support is greatly appreciated. If you want to find me outside of YouTube, my Twitter, Discord, my profile on the Sonic Amino, and my Twitch TV page will all be linked down below. With that said, I hope you have a wonderful and safe day, and I'll catch you for the next video. I hope this was interesting, because honestly, I'm looking forward to the full game. Take care.